Item number SCP-6128. Object class safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-6128 is currently contained within the shed where it was first discovered. The door to the shed has been padlocked and a single security camera has been installed to record any entry attempts. Description SCP-6128 is a corpse of a platypus. A bullet wound is visible on its lower back, and its bleeding eyes are missing. It is assumed that these wounds were the cause of the creature's death, though this has not been verified due to the inability of Foundation specialists to properly examine it. SCP-6128 exerts an attractive force on other deceased platypuses that are brought within a roughly 6 meter radius of it. The strength of this force has not been determined, but all attempts by Foundation personnel to remove the deceased platypuses currently adhered to SCP-6128 have been unsuccessful. These other corpses have made close examination of SCP-6128 impossible, as they prevent personnel from directly accessing SCP-6128 service. SCP-6128 was discovered on the 13th of September, 1986, by Foundation personnel conducting unrelated research in the forest surrounding the nearby Site-48. The personnel encountered a derelict wooden shed during their research and discovered SCP-6128 inside with eight Platypus corpses adhered to it. These corpses were determined to be non-anomalous due to the shed's remote location, the ease of securing the shed due to its close proximity to Site-48, and the difficulty of moving SCP-6128. It was decided to contain it within the shed, rather than transporting it to the site. Since its discovery, Foundation experimentation with SCP-6128 has led to 23 additional platypus corpses becoming adhered to it. These additional corpses have completely obscured the original, greatly exacerbating the aforementioned difficulty of properly examining it. Further experimentation has been limited to prevent excessive expansion of the mass. Addendum 61281 On the 7th of August, 1988, research personnel brought an additional platypus corpse within SCP-6128 radius of effect as part of a series of experiments to determine the approximate strength of the force it exerts on the corpse. Research personnel brought an additional platypus corpse within SCP-6128 radius of effect as part of a series of experiments to determine the approximate strength of the force it exerts on corpses. When the new corpse became adhered to the existing mast, the mast began to emit large amounts of white light and heat. Foundation personnel were forced to evacuate the shed after approximately 15 seconds due to the temperature with in reaching dangerous levels. After two minutes, the emission ceased, and personnel were able to re-enter the shed. Upon re-entry, they found that the mass was gone, and a single live platypus was in its place. This platypus was taken to Site-48 for study. Upon dissection of the platypus, researchers found that it contained 32 sets of platypus organs. It is currently believed that the inside of the platypus's body was affected by a spatial anomaly, as it should not have been able to physically contain more than one set of organs. The reclassification to neutralized is pending on the disposal of the corpse. Addendum 61282 Following an accident during disposal of the new platypus corpse, Foundation personnel discovered that it displays the same anomalous properties as the former SCP-6128. A rewrite of this document to reflect the corpse's new containment status at Site-48 is pending.